हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी डिस्कस अबाउट न्यूटन लॉ ऑफ ग्रेविटी न्यूटन लॉ ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो I discussed about what is gravitation and gravity. And here in this video we discuss about that that gravitation was discovered by Sir Isaac Newton. He gave the law to find out how much gravitation or gravitational force of attraction exists between any two objects. That law is known as Newton's law of gravitation. This law is also known as universal law of gravitation because applied everywhere in this universe for all kind of object. As in Newton is the law related to. gravitational attraction force between two objects is called Newton's law gravitation This law is also known as universal law Newton's universal law of gravitation because apply everywhere in this universe For all kind of objects, it means for any part of the universe that law is applicable, and for all object, it may object may be tiny or large, it does not matter. Newton's law of gravitation applied to calculate how much attraction force exists between them. It states that, or simply, what is the statement of that here? Newton's law of gravitation statement. Yes. It states that the gravitational force between Any two objects is directly proportional to the product. Their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the. 
distância de mim. They are senators. It means what? A product of a masses increases, then gravitational force also increases, and vice versa. If distance between their center increases, then gravitational force decreases, and vice versa. That statement can be proved as To prove it, first we consider two objects. We consider two objects of masses M1 and M2 having center C1 and C. Distance between their center is D and mutual attraction force. Gravitation is mutual attraction force. Why? Because it is acted towards the center of both of them. Mutual means what? Directed towards the center of both of them. Therefore, gravitation is known as mutual attraction. And here, gravitational attraction force between these two bodies is F. And here we write, let us consider two objects having masses M1 and M2 separated by distance D from their centers. If F is Gravitational force between them, then according to a statement, F is directly proportional to M1 and M2. Here we consider equation F is inversely proportional to a square of the distance between their center we consider the equation. Now, by combining equation 1 and 2,
of having one kilogram and their distance between center is one meter. Then what we found that we said here. If masses are of one kg separated by distance one meter, then he said here, yes. then what do you call that? M1 equal to one kg. M2 equal to one kg and D equal to one meter. Now we place these values of mass and masses and distance in equation of gravitation. And we, are, we know that F equal to G M1 M2 by D square. Now G remains constant, M1 becomes 1, M2 becomes 1, and D becomes 1 square. And in this way, F equal to G it means what? Gravitational force is equal to universal gravitational constant. In which condition? When both object having unit mass separated by unit distance. And which is known as what? Definition of universal gravitational constant. How we define that here? The force of attraction force of gravitation or attraction between unit mass unit mass is separated by unit distance is called Universal gravitational constant. It's SI unit area. Now, how we find out SI unit of Newton's universal gravitational constant? Yeah. SI unit. We know that it has equal to G. M1, M2 by D square. In this way, when we realize that it becomes G equal to F D square by M1 into M. And now we replace unit of these all terms, then we get unit of universal gravitational constant. And here, now G, unit of G equal to Force is measured in Newton. Now distance square, meter square by kg into kg, which is equal to Newton meter square per kg square or Newton meter square kg inverse 2 is the SI unit of universal gravitational constant. And experimentally its value is 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 newton meter square per kg square. Thank you.